As buyers suggested, education and training can be a key part to growing aviation or other industries and a key weakness. We talked with two leaders in those areas, Dr. Linda Miedema, Vice President for Planning and Assessment at Brevard Community College, and Brevard Workforce President Lisa Rice about training and education challenges in Brevard. We are always looking for good training partners, first of all. And by good, what I mean is that they're fast to the marketplace with whatever needs to happen in training, and that is determined by businesses telling us this is what we need. They're also really good at producing good outcomes with their students. In other words, when the student finishes, it's somebody the business wants to take. We started off several months ago, almost a year ago now, that the Board of Trustees asked us to take a look at what we can do to help the community to get jobs, get back to work, help to turn around the economy of our county. For us to be able to make a significant change in our workforce skills, we've got to have a long-term commitment to our colleges, our universities, all of the training programs around here that can go towards that. So we started by looking at the state framework. They have a resource called the Targeted Occupation List, and it lists high-wage, high-skill employment within the area. Aviation is one of those things on that list. Things like machinists or air and power frame mechanics, you do not produce those kinds of skills overnight. It takes the time and you have to have the right equipment to train people on. Our community has to help our educational entities get that capital equipment and keep it up to date so that we can keep up to speed with what industry is demanding. We are now surveying our, the industry to see what types of training specifically they would need, what areas of emphasis, and also what partnerships they can lend to us. Can they help us provide equipment? Can they help us to provide facilities? Do they have experts that they can loan to us as we look at developing the curriculum? I got to tell you that I think most of the aviation people probably walked in with a little bit of fear. You know, is this right? Is it going to be the right mix? but they've been trying out the aerospace workers. They've had great experiences. And now, you know, ombre air, mid air, uh, you know, all of them, AAR, they're all saying to us, sure, we'll take the aerospace workers. They've got the work ethic. They've definitely got a quality eye. Uh, they know how to follow steps and procedures and, and, and be very much oriented to safety, which is all very important in aviation. We're all in this together. The only way that Brevard County as a whole is going to get back to where it was is by working together. We have a very skilled workplace out there. They just don't necessarily have the skills that they need for the jobs that are currently available. Some of those are very short term. It may be a semester and you can turn around, add that to your resume and be able to get out and get a job. And that's what we're here about. We are part of the community and our job is to reach out to the community help find those niches of education that they still need to have in order to get gainfully employed. So if you look not only at what the state has provided us in labor market statistics, but also what Embraer, Midair, AAR, PAA have all already projected for us and that we're already helping them hire, we're easily going to hit a couple thousand within the next year.